In this version, we're going to look at how you can add sound effects and music to your Pong game. So I'm going to execute it so you can see what it looks like. So as you can see, when it hits something, it plays a bounce noise. And when you score points, you get a different sound effect. Um, there's music playing in the background as well. Um, so all these sound effects are all combined together to make a bit more of an interesting game. So, let's have a look at what code we've got so far. So, we've already looked at how to add music, and we know that in order to add sound effects we have to use the mixer. And I'm now loading up two um, sound effects. These are sound effects which I've created before, they're both WAV files, and I've stored them in the same place as my Python code. To load up a sound effect, it's simply mixer.sound with capital S um, bounce.wav is, is my name of WAV file. Um, I'm loading music in the same way. Um, big difference from last time is I'm setting the volume to be 0.4, as in about 40% of the main volume. That way it's not too loud. Um, you can set a number between one, a 0 and 1 there, uh, depending on how loud you want the music to play. And then I'm obviously just playing the music. When um, a collision happens, if I scroll down to my collision code, um, you'll see, here we go, I uh, see that I've got the bounce effects dot play, and that's playing that sound effects. And bounce effects is the name of the variable I've used to store the actual bounce um, sound file. Um, if a point is scored, I've got point effects dot play. And that's it. So really, when you want to play a sound effect, um, you have to first of all um, set up the mixer with mixer.init. Uh, you have to load sound effects up first and store them in variables, and then whenever you want to play them, it's the name of your variable dot play. So it's actually really, really straightforward. The sound effect should play at the point um, where it should occur, basically in your code.